Hi everyone. Uh, today is the video on data engineering interview questions and answers. And I will be covering the most important and the common questions that will be asked for data engineers. Let's move on to the first question. What is data pipeline and why is it important in data engineering? A data pipeline is a series of processes that extracts data from various sources, transforms it and loads into a destination for analysis. It's important because it ensures the flow of accurate and timely data for analytics and decision making. Data pipelines streamline the data processing workflow, enabling the organizations to effect efficiently manage large volumes of data. Maintain data quality and derive valuable insights to drive the business decisions effectively. What are the differences between ETL and ELT? ETL, extract, transform, load. It involves extracting data from a source, transforming into a suitable format and then loading into a destination. Whereas ELT, which is extract, load, transform, involves extracting data, loading it into a destination and then transforming it as needed. While ETL is traditionally used for data integration in batch processing scenarios. Whereas ELT is gaining popularity in modern data architectures, particularly in cloud environments, where data can be loaded into storage platforms first and then transformed using distributed processing frameworks like Apache Spark or Hadoop. What tools have you used for data extraction? You can mention many tools and you can reply your answer like, I have used tools like Apache Spark, Apache NiFi and Talent for data extraction tasks. Additionally, I have experience with cloud native services such as AWS Glue and Google Dataflow for extracting, transforming and loading data at a scale. These tools provide capabilities for connecting to various data sources, performing complex data transformations and orchestrating data works workflows efficiently. What is Apache Kafka and how is it used in data engineering? Apache Kafka is distributed streaming platform used for building real time data pipelines and streaming applications. It's used for publishing, subscribing to, storing and processing streams of records in real time. Kafka's distributed architecture and fault tolerant design make it ideal for handling high volume data streams enabling data engineers to ingest, process and analyze data in real time for use cases such as log aggregation, event sourcing, and real-time analytics. Explain the concept of data warehousing. Data warehousing involves collecting and storing data from various sources into a central repository for analysis and reporting. It's designed for query and analysis rather than transaction processing. Data warehouses typically use dimensional modeling techniques to organize the data into structured formats optimized for analytical queries, providing a single source of truth for business intelligence and decision support. Data warehouse enable data engineers to consolidate disparate data sources, perform complex analytics and derive actionable insights to drive business strategy and performance. How do you handle missing or incomplete data in dataset? 
Depending on the situation, I might drop missing values, impute them using statistic methods or use techniques like interpolation or extrapolation. Additionally, I perform exploratory data analysis to understand the patterns and characteristics of missing data and apply appropriate strategies for handling missing values while minimizing bias and preserving data integrity. Documenting the handling of missing data and ensuring transparency in data processing steps are also essential for maintaining data quality and reproducibility in analytical workflows. So interpolation is a way of determining variables on a graph within the given data and extrapolation is a way of determining the variables on the graph outside the given data. What is the role of data governance in data engineering project? Data governance ensures data quality, integrity, security, data usability, data lineage throughout the data life cycle. It involves defining policies, procedures, and standards for managing data effectively. What are some best practices for optimizing SQL queries? Best practices include indexing columns such as where clauses, avoiding select, using proper join techniques, and minimizing the use in the function of where clause. Additionally, optimizing the query execution plans, leveraging database query optimization tools and profiling queries for identifying performance bottlenecks are essential for improving the query performance and minimizing the resource utilization. Regular monitoring and tuning of SQL queries based on workload patterns and usage metrics also help optimize the database performance and enhance overall system efficiency. Explain CAP theorem and its implications for distributed systems. The CAP theorem status states that in a distributed system, it is impossible to simultaneously guarantee consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Systems typically prioritize two out of three aspects depending on their requirements. While achieving all three properties simultaneously is challenging, distributed systems architects must make trade-offs based on specific needs of their applications. Understanding the implications of CAP theorem, it helps the data engineers to design resilient and scalable distributed systems that meet the performance, availability, and fault tolerance requirements of their applications. What is data partitioning and why is it important? Data partitioning involves dividing large data sets into smaller, more manageable parts. It's important for improving query performance, scalability, and parallel processing. By partitioning data based on key attributes or ranges, data engineers can distribute processing loads across multiple nodes or partitions, enabling parallel execution of queries and reducing data access latency. Data partitioning also facilitates efficient data retrieval and manipulation, enhances system scalability, and optimizes the resource utilization in distributed computing environments. Thank you and all the best for the interview. Do subscribe for more videos.